What is up, YouTube? I am Cosmic Fro, and today I am back with another installment of the Potential of series. In this series, I do potential characters that can make it into Mortal Kombat 1 and talk about what their potential is in the game, what their moveset could look like, and just sort of theorize what kind of gameplay, what they, what they might look like within the story, all these things. So today, it's going to be another installment, um, and this one is very special to my heart. So when you think about Mortal Kombat, right, you think about Scorpion and Sub-Zero, you know, the ninjas. You also got Reptile and Noob. You think about the ninjas. And then you have Katana, Melina, Jade. You have the princesses. You have the ninja chicks, you know, uh, of the Mortal Kombat series, Tanya, right? We also have the special forces with Sonya, Jax, Striker. You have Kano involved with that and the Black Dragon. There's a whole storyline with the special forces. And then there's a fourth category there's a fourth classic category that has been missing from mortal kombat uh in the base roster for a long time and that is the cyborgs when you think about back in the day who you would choose between these categories the cyborgs were just were another one of those necessary components to the feel of mortal kombat you have cyrax and sector you have ketchup and mustard right you have the the two cyborgs on the roster for mortal kombat and i think two roster spots isn't necessarily a, a a bad ask especially when these both of these characters are fan favorites and iconic to the franchise to me it is a sin that you know they didn't make it into the base roster uh they did make a cameo spot right we both we got both sector and cyrax as cameo positions in mortal kombat 1 but not on the base roster so we're going to talk about the potential of sector and cyrax in mortal kombat 1 as future roster spots if you guys do enjoy the video leave a like comment and subscribe and let's get right into it quickly before i begin on the lore this is sort of a sad fact right when we think about uh the audience of mortal kombat now most of the teenagers nowadays right they might have started on injustice 2 or the near the tail end of mkx right because we're, we're in 2024 now and the last time we had the cyborgs on base roster was mk9 which is whew, you know, many, many years ago, a lot of the kids within the scene, they couldn't even talk, right? And so the perception about the cyborgs is, oh, they're, they're a variation or from MKX, right? Or, oh, you know, they're just NPC characters in the case of MK11 with uh, Frost. And Frost is their only sort of basis for the cyborgs being playable uh, for a lot of these people that were introduced, you know, in Injustice 2, MK11. Um, so it's, it's a sad, sad realization that a lot of the audience just isn't, isn't aware of w how iconic these cyborgs are to the mk franchise as a whole and it's just it's so sad it is so sad so we're going to talk about their potential in this new universe in mortal kombat 1 and why sector and cyrax bare minimum deserve a roster spot we'll talk about cyber sub-zero as well now in the original timeline the lin kuei grandmaster during the uh original mortal kombat tournament in mk9 right felt that the Lin Kuei would be more powerful as a result of cyberization and Sector, his son at the time, um, was the one to to carry out his father's wishes with the cyber initiative and uh, become sort of the first cyborg within the Lin Kuei. Now Cyrax would also become a cyborg of the Lin Kuei, Sector and Cyrax being, you know, the, the two you know, notable cyborgs of the Cyber Lin Kuei as they were the, the first to be cyberized. Sub-Zero would flee, right? This was Kwai Liang uh, Sub-Zero. Would flee the clan uh, disagreeing with, you know, the Lin Kuei. And, uh, you know, Sub-Zero in this previous timeline was not involved with the Cyber Lin Kuei uh, at all until he was captured and forced to transition into the Cyber Lin Kuei. Sub-Zero, Kwai Liang Sub-Zero would be turned into cyber sub-zero and smoke was nowhere to be seen smoke was still fl fleed from the Lin Kuei this time now within this story sub-zero and cyrax regain their memories after being cyberized and sort of uh, go against the wishes of sector and the cyber initiative right you know things happen within the events but looking to the new era there's a lot of story changes coming to mortal kombat as a whole uh, and I, I'm really personally a fan of what's going on um, with Sub-Zero and the Lin Kuei as of current. So we're going to watch Sub-Zero's tower ending as this is sort of a hint to what the Cyber Lin Kuei could be within Mortal Kombat 1. So take a look. I had broken the Lin Kuei free of Liu Kang's enslavement. We were now masters of our destiny. 
and could take our place among Earthrealm's great nations. But taking and holding territory would require a vast army. I needed more fighters to make our presence felt. Then I recalled Shang Tsung's dragon warriors. An army of them would be unstoppable. But trafficking in such strong magic would surely draw Liu Kang's attention. Sector advised that we avoid detection by building our army using science, not sorcery. We've invested much into this endeavor, and we are beginning to see results. Once again proving the depths of Sector's genius. When we are done, all of Earthrealm will honor our desires and heed our demands. If not, they will face the Lin Kuei's wrath. Avoid detection using science, not sorcery. A very, very cold bar from Sub-Zero there. We see the beginnings of the Cyber Lin Kuei within the Mortal Kombat 1 storyline. And that's it right there, you know? I think in the Mortal Kombat 1 story, we know that Sub-Zero and Scorpion have split. Scorpion has gone on to make the Shirai Ryu with Smoke and Sub-Zero, you know, with the Lin Kuei. Probably Sector and Cyrax within the ranks, right, is plotting the Cyber Lin Kuei. Not much more to speculate story-wise, let's get into the gameplay. So, I think the two most important cyborgs we have to think about is obviously Sector, as he was the first in the original timeline, and he is the one creating the Cyber Lin Kuei. So I think Sector is a candidate to be the first cyborg, and then obviously Cyrax. With that in mind, there's also a very good chance that Cyber Sub-Zero could make a return in this timeline. Bihan clearly approves and is down for the cyber initiative so i think gaining power through cyberization is something sub-zero wouldn't be opposed to we're gonna start with sector and then we'll move on to cyrax for the cyborg so talking about sector what is sector known for well he's known for his missile right he shoots a missile from his back he can direct where he wants the missile to go or in the case of his cameo in mortal kombat 1 it can track right if you spend the bar you might be able to get the missile to track so he's known for his missiles he is known for his flamethrower that comes from his wrist. And then he is also known for his rocket punch where he sort of phases into the ground and punches them with an uppercut, launching them into the air for his combos. Sector's stance and movement is very strict. He is dedicated to the art of martial arts and the Lin Kuei. And so when Sector moves, you can tell it's very, very trained, very restricted and very, uh, his punches hit hard, you know. What we could see gameplay wise for Sector is a combination of sort of uh, space control tools. So maybe within strings, Sector uses the flamethrower to push back the opponent or, you know, stun them mid combo, sort of like Sub Zero's 2 1, right? You could also incorporate his rocket punch into parts of his string. So, like in MKX, where smoke would phase from behind the opponent with his strings. You could do that with Sector. You could have Sector phase from the ground in his strings or from behind the opponent or from the air, right? You could have Sector using this phase attack uh, to mix up the opponent, uh, which would be really, really cool. I think that'd be a cool idea to make Sector sort of this mix up character on top of his strong sort of missile game. You could make him a zoner, a strict zoner and space control character with missiles going across the screen using missiles in the strings to help push back the opponent you could use the flamethrowers to put flames on the ground and maybe chip the opponent out while you're doing these space control moves uh and phasing whenever they decide to move right you could make sector a very good character in many different ways again us classic mortal kombat fans fans of mk9 and you know the, the classic era we would love to see sector come back in any capacity and i think you know if you wanted to make him a mix-up character with his rocket puncher uh, you know, the green phase that he has, or if you wanted to make him a zoner. Uh, either way, we would be happy with Sector uh, in the roster. Talking about the look of Sector, and I guess, I suppose Cyrax as well, because we're talking about the Cyber Initiative, they all sort of look similar in uh, their ways. Obviously, he's got to have the red with the blue, right? The red sort of coat, coat of paint on the armor, and then the blue glow of the eyes and the court. Uh, I think that, you know, is is necessary at the very minimum, at the bare minimum. We do not, what we don't want is we don't want a frost situation. We don't want them to be humanized. We don't want to see their face. We don't want these cyborgs to be humanized in any capacity. At least personally, we want the cyborgs 
where they look mean, right? When you're playing these cyborgs, you're playing a Ferrari, right? You're playing something that looks mean and a machine, you know? They have the sort of the coils coming out of the back of their head, the predator dreads that the cyborgs sort of known for. Uh, so you have to have that when you're doing the cyber initiative for sure. Um, and just making the armor rigid, making it look really cool and uh, just have the cyborgs, you know, be cyborgs and not human like uh, Frost was. It was a missed opportunity with Frost. They could have made her a really cool cyberized, you know, version of Frost, uh, you know, a female uh, cyber ninja that we had never seen before. Full cyborg, right? Uh, looking mean. But no, they made her sort of uh, elegant looking and sort of like a superhero, unfortunately. But yes, if we are doing the Cyber Lin Kuei, if we do have Cyrax and Sub-Zero make a return as cyber ninjas as well, make them mean, make them cy full cyborg, and uh you know make them cool another realm follow follow the tone of mk9 and we will be just fine now for cyrax gameplay wise cyrax was the cyborg i played i love cyrax i love doing the overhead bomb uh <laughs> knock up that he's got but let's talk about what, what cyrax is known for so cyrax is known for the bombs right he lays bombs on the ground at different ranges to sort of keep the opponent locked down he can also use these bombs in combos in the case of MKX, he had air bombs where you could throw uh, air bombs into the air and have the opponent, you know, mid-juggle fall into them. Sort of like Lee Mei's lanterns in this game, right? You could have that with Cyrax with the air bombs again. He's also known for his buzzsaw. So Cyrax has a buzzsaw that comes out from his hand and he sort of just like, you know, puts the opponent on the ground and saws them uh, and then pushes them away in the case of MK9, right? Or MKX, rather. He also has a buzzsaw that comes from his chest and... Uh, he can shoot this buzzsaw, turn it into a projectile, and uh, keep them in the air, sort of like a katana fan, right? So Cyrax has a buzzsaw mechanic, right? That's what we're going to call it, within his armor and uh, bombs. He also has a net that he can shoot from his chest. Uh, we see that in his cameo in MK1. It captures the enemy and, you know, just allows for setups, right? If you do capture the enemy with the net from a string, you can set up the bombs and do different combos with that you know you can also just shoot the net to maybe catch him full screen and try and get a positive trade there but yeah the net is also sort of a classic tool that cyrax is known for personally cyrax should be a setup character i think the bombs uh, it's classic to cyrax he's known to be a setup character and i think if you give him the ability to lay down bombs at different ranges within the air on the ground and have the buzzsaw uh normals to sort of uh keep them you know at bay I think that would be really cool to just have that back for Cyrex. Um, again, give him the back to overhead. Give him the back to overhead bomb that launches. Gotta have it. It's the throw for the Cyrex cameo, right? Just the, the bomb where he binks him on the head. That just has to come back for base Cyrex. If you have Cyrex with Cyrex cameo, you have two bomb binks, right? That's what I would like to see for Cyrex. Again, guys, I am really hoping that the Cyber Initiative makes its way into Mortal Kombat 1. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree? Would you want the Cyborgs back in Mortal Kombat? And if so, which Cyborgs would you want in Mortal Kombat 1? If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more potential of uh, videos very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.